PDF element is an efficient way to edit your document or your PDF file. All of the tools in this software can be found on each side of your document or your PDF file. So you can add text, image, or add the link into your document. It is as simple as that. To edit the text, you can click on the edit button on the left side. And then you can just double click on your document. And you can just select the text that you want to change. You can change the color and highlight it. And one more thing, you can change the font and change the signature of your font. You can also add an image to your text. So by click on the image button right here, then click on the plus button to add an image. You can also add the link into your document. So it is much easier for you to find your reference and find your citation. And you just drag like that and then you can add the page. And one more thing, you can organize your document page by click on the button on the right and then you can just drag the page that you want to show up first so as you can see here I just simply drag and drop more detail about PDF element can be found in my video description Welcome back today I would like to share you 10 more free jailbreak tweaks that compatible with iOS 13 to 13.5.1 now we're gonna go to the first one it is a tweak that allows you to enable low power mode by click on the battery icon on status bar so it is much more convenient so if I click on the battery icon right here you can see we have low power mode enabled and if I go to settings you can see here we have low power mode is enabled and when I click on the battery icon again on the status bar low power mode will be disabled so it is as simple as that it is much easier than before you don't need to go to settings and enable from here so it is it takes you quite some time but with these tweaks it is much better move on to kill all apps with the tweaks you can just simply close all the application from multitasking you can just click one button and all the app will be closed so if I go to app store and then go to some application here and now from multitasking you can see we have the 8 button here which you can close all application at once it is pretty simple so if I click on 8 button here all of the application will be closed and it is except the music player if you have your music playing at the background it will preserve your music so it is still playing to preserve your music you can just um, enable this button and you can also customize the button here where you can change the button position so you can go to either left or right or you can set it at the center so with pigment you can customize your notification center even your widgets and also your lock screen player it is pretty simple so you just enable this three button and then when you go back to widgets you can see we have different color so for the background widget we have the color depend on the application color and you can see on weather I have blue icon and on the background of um, the weather it is also blue so it is adaptive to each application and if I go to my notification center you can see the notification center right here it has um, different color depend on the application or if I just want the simple color, I can just go back to settings and select on this one. It's gonna um, use the simple color. Now when we go back to widgets, we have the, the simple color from the stock iOS. From the beginning of my video, you perhaps already see about my status bar. And on the battery icon, on Wi-Fi and clock, you can see I have the custom color. So for, for this one, it is a tweak called SB Colors. So where you can customize those elements on your status bar. You can change the color on time. You can change color on battery. You can change LTE. You can change Wi-Fi. Move on to search autofocus with this simple tweak. It's gonna save you one tap. So I'm gonna demonstrate you right now. So now when I go back to the App Store, and then I can just click on search and as you can see I need to manually click on the search bar to search but after you install it tweak you can just go back to settings and then you can select the application so I'm gonna enable on the app store then I can just go back and then I'm gonna go to search again and you can see here it's gonna go to the search straight away 
I don't need to manually click on search and then click on the search bar so it's gonna go to search bar straight away it is as simple as that for this awesome tweak it will give you completely redesign on contest tape on your phone app so if I go to contest right here you can see all of my contests here we have the call and message button next to the name of the person here it is much more convenient to call and message those people and I can just click on plus here to add my favorite person so I can click on Apple here and then I can just click on plus to add more people like that you can add up to three people on the top here your favorite one and I can just click on message to message them directly so it is pretty simple and you can also edit and delete your favorite person you can just hold on here then you can delete and replace with a new one move on to quick markup it allows you to access to markup on your photo app much faster with just one tap so if I go to photo here and when I click on edit and then I can access to markup on the top here so, so you can just click on it and then I can just um, mark and draw it something on here move on to this awesome tweak it allows you to hide some element from springboard lock screen control center and haptics so if you go to springboard here where you can hide icon labels where you can hide the folder background and you can enable transparent dock and on your lock screen you can hide all the notification text you can hide today view and on your control center you can add percentage label for control center sliders and we have haptics right here where you can set your custom haptics strength and for those of you that have already installed better CCHI so if you go to control center you can see the weather module here it doesn't display very well and you can see the glitch on the edge of this module now I have already installed better CCHI weather fetch now when I go back to my control center you can see the weather is um, displayed properly and you can see there is no glitch any anymore on my control center lastly let's go to clear call for clear call it can clear the background call when you um, give someone a call or you receive the call from someone so if I um, call someone here you can see the background is clear instead of blur usually with stock iOS version the background is blur when you call someone and now it is clear finally thank for watching I hope you like all of these tweaks and one more thing if you want to get these themes you can check in my video description I always include my theme in my video description and you can check them out